Hey guys, uh, another super quick and dirty uh, little tutorial, uh, a little tip I think that you're going to find super useful. Um, one of the things that you can't do on the Digitact is audition samples chromatically, um, but that's not necessarily true uh, when we're talking about sounds. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, one, the first thing to do is make sure that you're not in mute mode and make sure that your chromatic keyboard is turned on. Uh, let's go into the sound manager and uh, check out some sounds. I'm going to pick out um, a plucky lead sound. Okay, let's take that one. Uh, normally, as, as I'm doing right now, you would audition uh, by holding down the function button and pressing yes. Now, if I hold down yes, well, and I let go of the function button, you're going to notice that the top row of the keyboard, i.e. the black keys, uh, show up here. And while I'm still holding the yes button, I can use them to audition the sound. As you might have noticed, these are actually an octave lower. Uh, and that's because the keyboard is set to minus, uh, minus 12. If we want to audition that at the normal keyboard setting, let's go to the sound again. We had sound 72. And if we want to audition it up the keyboard, then we put the keyboard plus 12. We go back to the sound. audition it uh, higher up. If you're wondering where I've got all of these sounds, well these are sounds that I've created over the years of owning this uh, little box and they are going to be available uh, very soon so if you're interested uh, watch this space. All right guys that's all have fun.